this video, I'm going to show you one of the best cover three beaters out of the trips tight information in Madden 22. Now, this route combination is going to be very good against pretty much every defense that you're going to face. But what I really like about this is this is a setup and a combination of things that not only allows you to be able to beat cover three to this the tight end side, but it also allows you to really flood any zone combination and any man coverage combination uh, to the trip side. So let's jump into the video. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I upload new videos every single day. Now, another thing that I wanted to quickly hit on is I just released my Trips Tight End ebook. And if you want to get access to every ebook that I release over the course of the Madden 22 season, be sure to sign up for my Patreon. So far, we have 10 ebooks uh, out over there. I've got two more that are going to probably be released within the next two weeks. And we've got just a ton of material, including our Trips Tight End stuff. Seven defensive guides, three offensive guides. We also have a bunch of kind of mini schemes or exclusive tips over at the Patreon. So if you really want to get a deep dive into all of that stuff, again, it's just 10 bucks a month. You can cancel whenever you want. Uh, so be sure to sign up for that. I'm going to put a link to that down in the description. And like I said, this is a cover three based beater, but it can pretty much beat every coverage. And I like to do this out of the play curl flat. You could also do the same basic thing out of the play doubles and sail out of the trips tight end formation. And what we're going to basically do is we're going to smart route the tight end corner. We're going to streak the running back and then we're going to take the circle receiver. And I've done two things. You could either streak him up the seam if you want to try to hit a quick seam read or you could simply put him on a curl, okay? So as you can see here, this is pretty much what I like to do. Now, what you're gonna see is this corner route to the tight end, because it pair, you pair it with this running back streak, is gonna get wide open, as you can see right there. Now, what that's gonna require is it's gonna require your opponent to put his zone drops at 30 yards. If he doesn't have 30 yard clouds out there, he's really not gonna be able to guard that. And even if he does, it's gonna be a tight, it's gonna be a, a, a close play. But as you can see, it really forces them to extend their zone drops. A lot of people don't like to do that, especially um, especially against strip side in, because if they do that, then we can hit them with a lot of other routes and other combinations. But I absolutely love this. Now, as you see here, this is just cooking cover four. Now, where I really like this play is against cover three. And I'm gonna show you why right here. So a lot of people are gonna be starting to run a lot more cover three because of the latest patch. And what you're gonna see is this corner route absolutely does a great job of pulling the outside third. Now there, I kind of threw it just a split second too late. Um, but what you wanna do here is you're gonna see that this um, little seam streak to the back is going to pull that guy. And as you can see, I'm able to hit that. Again, that's right at that 30 yard mark. So they're gonna to have to put, they're gonna to have to play some Mabel coverage to stop that. So when they start playing Mabel coverage, now your middle of the field is gonna be open. So we can attack them with the curl and we can also attack them with this running back uh, seam streak. You can see right here, I can kind of fit this um, in the middle of some of these zones. Let me show you that again. That was a little bit of a, uh, a late throw. Uh, but anyway, let me just show you kind of how this works. We'll talk about that left side here in just a moment. But what you're gonna see is, um, you can kind of see see how that kind of guy kind of moves out of the way and I can kind of fit that right in there. Um, that's a little bit of a seam read. It's also a really good throw specifically, again, if your opponent is running a lot of Mabel coverage. And the reason why it's so good against Mabel coverage is because most of the time their user is going to have to go over to the left side and guard the curl. And what that's going to allow is this seam, this seam streak to Bernard to basically open up. Now, we're not getting great uh, animations here. Uh, part of it's because we're not setting our zone drops. But let me try to show you one more time on this, and then we'll move on to the left side. So, again, we're just going to try to imitate their user going to the left. You see here he goes to the left. And you see how open the seam read is right here for Bernard. Um, another thing that is really popular, a lot of people like to do this specifically against trip side in, is you'll see that they'll play some cover four uh, drop on that right side, but they'll put that guy in a cloud flat. So there's really nobody on the outside to defend this corner route. And so if you get enough time in the pocket, you can throw this pass lead up and you see that that's gonna be about a 40 yard corner um, as long as you have enough time to allow that to basically open up. Now, the other reason why I really like this is it doesn't really matter what zone you're gonna, you're gonna play, one of your curls are gonna be open. So whether it be cover two, cover three Mabel, it really doesn't matter what they do. And again, a lot of people in this game like to run this cover three Mabel style of coverage. 
And what you're going to see here is this left side curl is going to absolutely torch the cover three Mabel coverage that pretty much everybody is going to be running um, at this point in the year. And the reason why they're going to be running this is because of the fact uh, of what we just talked about, because of the fact that the cover three is improved in a lot of ways. And so you're going to be able to hit your curl, one of these two curls, against this Mabel coverage. It's one of my favorite plays um, to really attack the Mabel, uh, cons or the Mabel coverages. Now the other thing that you can do is let's say they try to take away some of your curls. So they're going to you know, play some curl flats and really try to take away these curls. Well now what you're going to see, and this is one of my favorite little tricks out of trips I did, throw your flat, get a block, and you're going to get about 9 to 11 yards. And they're going to have to respect that and you're going to be able to throw that again and again and again. So all in all guys, this play pretty much just absolutely works every defense in the game. Um, you're going to have a lot of success uh, against zone now it does beat man coverage but it's not super great against man so your corner routes the tight end right when he cuts if you pass it that's the outside oftentimes i'm able to catch that against man but the only other two reads that i really like if they're in man coverage which is this is why i don't really run this play if they're in man coverage is either of your curl routes here okay as you see right there gyre made a great play but the, either of these curl routes are going to do a pretty good job uh, of just being able to get separation. You'll see here, um, Mike Evans, just low ball the curls. You know, curls get the girls. It's just a really, really good route, a check down route. But all in all, guys, that's pretty much how I like to run this play. This is one of my favorite, favorite concepts for just simply working zones over. It's also really underrated um, against match. It's really good against like a cover two style uh, of coverage as well. So try this out. Let me know what you think. And again, if you want to get my entire Trips Tight End ebook or if you want to get any of my ebooks, you can get access, unlimited access to every ebook that I've released and every ebook that I'm going to release. So far, we've released 10 ebooks by joining my Patreon. Again, my Patreon is going to be linked in the description below. It's also, uh, and again, just click that link. It'll take you right over. You can sign up uh, and I'll just charge you 10 bucks a month. Again, really important takeaway. You can cancel that whenever you want to. So whenever you need to cancel that, you certainly can do that. Um, but as long as your subscription is active, you're going to get access to everything.